Hello, everybody. It is Kaylin here again. Thank you so much for joining me. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I do have a little bit of a cold still remaining. So bear with me a little bit. I am setting up the feed on my phone as well so I can see all of your comments. But let me know how your weekend has been going so far. I would love to hear about it, what you've been up to, how it's been going, if you're enjoying this freezing cold weather or not. Today's live stream is a comparison. Like I said in the last Paint With Me session, I told you I was going to compare our kit to another Diamond Paint Company's kit. So. I don't want to mention any names or where exactly I got it because that um, is just kind of unnecessary information, um, and I don't want to don't want to get in trouble with another company. Um, so, <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Genia. Hello, Linda, Tanya, Anna. Welcome. Hi, Natalia. Thanks for joining us today. Your weekend's been boring. It's too cold to do anything. Very true. It is freezing. That is very true. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, I wanted to show you an up close and personal look at these kits side by side because we have been putting out some graphics on our Instagram and Facebook page that show you pictures. But I thought what better way to give you an up close look than to do a video. Sorry, can you guys hear me? Because I just got this mic. Let me know if it if you can hear me more clearly than usual. Um, I will just um, put it on my sweater so that you can hear me a bit better. Hello. Okay. Let me know if you hear me all right. Catherine, you took down a tree. Wow. That is pretty big job. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I know that you guys have been waiting to watch this video, so I will take out the competitor's kit in my drawer here. So this is what you would receive online from maybe an AliExpress or an Amazon supplier. Um, I am going to talk more about how Amazon and AliExpress work in another video, um, just to kind of give you the lowdown on that. But this is kind of what you would receive in a kit that came in the mail. So it's kind of folded like this, it's wrapped around the diamond packaging. <clears throat> and then our kit would come in a box like this. So this is the large box, and then this is the small box. So how it would be shipped would be a clear film around the whole box and then also packaged within another box. So there's way less likely to uh, encounter any damage or anything like that. Whereas a kit like this usually just comes in a bag, like a shipping package bag, um, or just like wrapped in like really thin plastic. So definitely a big difference in the way that the shipping is received. Um, this is a bit bigger of a shipping item. So the way that we have to ship it is a little bit different and we don't do um, free shipping for, for that because of this reason. It's big. Um, it does have a clear film and another box on top of it. So I really don't like when they're folded with rubber bands. Yeah. So they're folded like this. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and um, open it up. So I showed you in another unboxing video the way that it comes out of the box. It comes with a canvas and an instructional guide. I don't have the instructional guide with me today. Um, I didn't have a chance to grab one. But this comes rolled with a foam roller. Let me see if I can find that foam roller. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. So me give you an example here. So it will come with a foam roller in it. Let me just grab it. Sorry about this guys. This is, I have a bit of a disorganized space here because I have so many different canvases with me that I have to kind of combine them into the boxes. But 
It will come with a foam roller with the actual canvas wrapped around it. So it gets rolled like this with the foam roller inside of it. And then um, you can see the foam roller there. It's just a stray string here. So it'll come like this. There will be an instructional wrapped around it as well, and then a rubber band. So that's how it's likely to come. Rolled versus folded, protected with a foam roller, whereas this just has the actual accessories kit contents shoved in it. So this is the difference of how the canvas would arrive. So um, the instructional gets wrapped around. The instructional has 12 different languages on it. This, I will show you on the inside, has a piece of paper in it, I'm pretty sure, but I will have to unwrap that for you. So, then you go to unroll it. This is the one that I've been working on, so it has been, um, has some sparkles on it already. So it'll lay pretty much flat as soon as you unroll it. The only thing that you will find that when you unroll the canvas, it has been rolled up for quite a while. So it is likely to have um, an edge that kind of like curves up like that, which is like totally, totally normal. Um, all you would need to do is then peel back. I'll show you here. You would just need to peel back each corner of the canvas and just flatten it out. So the weight of this canvas material is actually quite heavy so you're likely to be able to just lay it flat like that for like 20 minutes and it should just flatten it out by itself at like at most 20 minutes um but like I said if you want to work on it right away all you have to do is peel back the plastic and flatten it out like that so let's unwrap the um the kit that we have here from Ali. I'm going to take off the elastic band Awesome. Thanks so much for all your comments. Hello, Miss Coffee. Hello, Linda. Hello, Gwyneth. Thanks so much for joining us. Just watching on the phone. So here is it unwrapped. So this is what the canvas will look like when you um, unwrap it. There you can see the fibers, the crease marks. Um, the comparison of how the canvas feels, this one feels a little bit more um, plasticky, um, and this one feels a little bit more materially. So this is 100% woven polyester, and this must be some sort of um, like blend. It's almost like silky or plasticky. Um, right, so when I show you this, you can see that it has all of this um, printing in a different language at the top. Um, there's like a black line there. Um, doesn't look like a, a completely straight cut. Um, the legends on the side here, pretty tiny. I guess this is the design. So it's a, it's a nice floral design. So I don't know if this design was actually copyrighted or anything. So it's likely that they did not ask for the artist's permission. Whereas this one, when I hold it up, you can clearly see all of the writing on the top. Shows you the name. It shows you the legally licensed from Anne Marie Bone, the design size and the fabric size. And then there are two legends. So one on this side and then one at the bottom on this side. So they're both at different angles. There you can see it a little bit clearer. You can also notice that the canvas protector, this is clear. Um, it is a clear plastic. It's not sticky on either side, so you can take it off and use the other side if you want. It does not depend on size. Um, no, our canvases is not um, called eco canvas. It's just 100% woven polyester canvas. And then this one here, you see that it is um, sorry I'm just reading some of your con comments it's going by so fast so many of you are joining in and it's hard to keep up now I should get used to this okay 
so yes, um, this cover here is a white cover, so you can't really see what's underneath right away. I can pull the side a bit. So it feels almost like um like a parchment paper, which is nice. Um, it's nice and thick. Uh, and then you pull it back and you can see underneath. So here is the close-up of the AliExpress symbols and adhesive. So because this has been um, folded, you can actually, in certain lights, you can see the, oh, see the crease mark there on the canvas. So that's going to give you a little bit of trouble when you put your diamonds down. A lot of you do um, have set certain techniques where you, um, you'll put it underneath your mattress or you'll lay it underneath the books, which is great. Um, but it would be nicer if you didn't have to do that at all, right? So here, again, you can see a crease fold mark with the glue. I'll give you a close-up look at the adhesive on our canvases. Let me just give you a close-up. I'll pull the, the thing back. And you can see the symbols there. So, someone's just asked about the prices. So for something like this, um, you're looking to spend anywhere from maybe a dollar to ten dollars. Not quite sure. Um, not quite sure the size of this one either. But for ours, here we have this small kit. So this will be starting at $35, but again, the prices have not been completely finalized. It's starting at $35. And this one is starting at 45. This is the large. So this is um, 12 by 16 inches, and this one is 16 by 20 inches. So the 16 by 20 would be 50 by 40 centimeters, just for the design on this one. So these are quite a bit larger than what you would get from an AliExpress size. I know they vary in sizes and um, prices. So if you can see, this is our small, so this would be a 16 by 20. This would be the, the width, sorry, the length and width of the canvas. And this is the AliExpress held up against it. So there are quite a few more inches left here. So I'm not quite sure how much this costed, but you do get quite a larger canvas. And then you'll also know, um, know why we charge a little bit more just by looking at this video. So Next thing I wanted to talk about was the was the actual adhesive and the difference between the adhesives. So on this AliExpress kit, when I pull back the glue, I can kind of see like that it's almost like a double-sided tape. Like if I tried to lift up the glue, it might... Yeah, okay. So I'm trying to peel back the glue from the top and I can see that it's coming off in a layer. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely a double-sided tape adhesive and that's, um, that's what causes some of your air bubbles that you guys have been experiencing through your kits um, that you order off places like Amazon and um, AliExpress. Yeah. So I'm, I'm able to kind of like pull it off even in this corner and that's how I know that it's a double sided. Yeah, here we go. You can see. Okay, so this is the adhesive that I've just peeled off. So that shows me that this is a double sided tape adhesive. Whereas ours is a poured glue method, so you won't be able to peel it. I can try. Yeah, you won't be able to peel it off. It has been poured directly on. And as you can see, the glue does not extend past the design. So if I show you on the AliExpress um, kit canvas here,
So ours does not extend past the design, but if you take a look at this canvas here, hopefully that will, you see that that too looks a little bit blurry. It's because the double-sided tape is on top of it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible. So yeah, definitely extends. It extends like into the first number here. This is where it stops, right where my nail is, right there. That's where the glue stops. So it definitely does extend past the design. Okay, so that is for the canvas itself. Um, the legend, as you can see here, is um, small over here. The one thing that I can say though is that a plus, a positive of this is that because the glue extends past the canvas here, you could always like just put the colored diamond right beside the legend um, and then it would be easier to keep track of. But I mean, it's not like you couldn't um, put down like a, a washi tape or double-sided tape next to our legend, which is right here. It's definitely a lot bigger as well. Gives you a bigger look at the symbol the symbols and the codes of the diamonds beside it. So I don't think that, um, sorry, we have some talk about the round diamonds. Um, and that, um, we haven't, we are, we probably won't be doing any round diamond designs. It's just not something that we like. Um, we don't, we think that the square overall is more well loved and looks better in the end. So we've decided as a company to just go forward with square drill design. So we won't be doing any rounds. Um, so that was a good look at the canvas. So I'll hold it up one more time. This is the Dreamer Designs canvas. You can see the title of this design. And then this is the Ali Express canvas. So this is how flat it is. It's still quite bent. Um, let me see if I can bend it the other way for you. So it's not too bad. It's lying. It's pretty. It's pretty flat right now but there are still those creases on the canvas, so that's unfortunate. This one here, I can show you, it is, it's more malleable. It's like gonna, it's gonna move with you like a normal fabric. Um, and then there was one more thing that I wanted to say about the canvas and that was about the designs themselves, like the actual picture that we're creating. And I have some bad news actually that I wanted to share with you guys. As you know, we do have four of our artists that have been working exclusively with us and we have licensed their designs exclusive to Dreamer Designs um, and to our company. So we are the only company that you should see these designs coming from. We do not sell on AliExpress. We do not sell on Amazon, nothing like that. The only place that you can get our canvas kits is on www.dreamerdesigns.com and that will start on February 13th. So the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was that we have recently noticed that one of our designs has been copied online. So that is one of our designs from Anne Marie Bone and it is the Twisted Blossom design and we've recently found links and uh, AliExpress stores and Amazon stores that are selling that design and they definitely do not have the rights to it. So I wanted to let you guys know about that. It is not something that we can, um, as much as we've legally licensed these designs, we can't necessarily go off and sue whatever company because we don't know, right? We don't know which factory this design is being made at um, and we don't know a lot of those kind of details. So if you do see that Twisted Blossom, please, please don't buy it. Um, I would 
way rather that we give credit to the artist and that this is a very special artist that we've been working with. Her name is Anne Marie Bone. She's incredible. Um, she's very upset by this news, as are we. And so I just wanted to kind of let you know, as a community, um, to support the artists. And if you really like that design, then I encourage you to wait until February 13th and buy it from our store only. So please, um, please keep that in mind moving forward. It is very unfortunate that the industry does this and um, we're not very happy about it, but it's also kind of something that can't always be controlled and fixed. So as long as everyone is aware of it, that's, um, that's our main priority. So thank you all for your so, so support. Oh, Forgotten Memories is, is too. Oh no. Okay. Well, I encourage you that if you see any of our designs being distributed through other factories, please send us the links. Um, we'd like to keep an eye on this kind of activity and be sure that our designs are being credited correctly. So the patents, uh, if they were to get a patent on the designs, then and um, they could just change a certain aspect of the design and then be and still uh, manufacture it. So that's the thing with art. Uh, it's a very like shady region. Um, and a lot of people get away with um, stealing just by changing certain aspects of it. And as unfortunate as it is, we just really have to keep our eye on it. So... Um, so yes, I had I saw a question in here. We are um, shipping and warehousing from the United States. Our headquarters are here in Canada. Um, our kits do get made at a special factory in China that we've gone and visited and actually spoken face to face with these people. Um, we have agreements with them and the factory to not be distributing these designs anywhere else. So. Yeah, I just had a question about that. Um, awesome, let's go ahead and get it, get started. Yes, yeah, so Anne has been in contact with us. We have been talking to her about it and um, we will be um, doing the best that we can to solve this problem. So now that I've gone through the canvas itself, um, I will move on with the accessories kits. Also, don't forget that this comes with the roller as well. So this is the accessory kit for the AliExpress. I'm gonna move this canvas. And then our accessories kit um, comes would come kind of looking like this in a plastic bag like that um, and I will show you the contents inside in just a moment I want to unwrap the Aliexpress kit and show you the diamond packages as well so this is what it comes there we go I'm sure many of you guys have seen this already um, most of you guys get your kits through or have at least tried before to get your kit online through AliExpress or Amazon. This is what a typical diamond package will look like coming from us. This is the Grumpy Cat diamonds. And then this is a typical package coming from AliExpress. So this actually just comes loose. You can unwrap it right away. It just comes rolled up in the piece of paper. But our diamond kit actually comes with a package over top. So it's re it's resealable plastic bag here. And then you reach in, you grab your diamond packages. Okay, and then I will show you side-by-side -side comparison to a diamond package here. So right off the bat I see diamond packages that have other colors in them. 
So you see there's black diamonds in there. Um, in this one you see black diamonds as well. There's like a beige color. This one you can see pink diamonds. So they are definitely not organized um, with the colors inside within the packages. So these are square drills as well. Sorry, I'm just reading. Um, can you tell me why your DMC not in numerical order? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, do you mean um, like from the design? The design has um, a bunch of these numbers, but the reason why they're not in numerical order is because it's based on the actual color itself. It's not going to be like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because the colors vary and certain designs will use the same color which we use the same code for. So that's why that's not in numerical order. Here we go with our diamonds. I'll give you up close look. They are completely separated. You will not find any other colors within the packages themselves. You can also see the difference in how many diamonds that you get. I do realize that this is a large design package and this is a small design package. Um, but with the with ordering on AliExpress, you run the risk of ending up with um, not enough diamonds to finish your design. But with Dreamer Designs, we give you 20% more diamonds than you actually need. So this is the... AliExpress diamonds, you can see them up close. Um, the colors are all right. It is based on the actual design itself. These colors are actually supposed to go for this design here, as you see. It's like an aut autumnal beiges, browns, those kind of colors. And then these are our diamonds here. So they're very, very vibrant colors. Beautiful blues, greens, teals, lots and lots of diamonds in each package. A big difference there. Very sparkly, very beautiful. Both these kits are square drills, like I said. Let me see if there's any questions. Yes, and they are a bigger size. So this is the Grumpy Cat design. So if you wanted to take a look at what colors those are, you can check out our Instagram page. We have the Grumpy Cat um, design on there. So those are the diamonds. So 20% more diamonds. Ours are 2.5 millimeter square drill bits. Um, I'm not quite sure what size these are, but they look about the same size themselves. Like the diamonds themselves look to be about the same size. Ours have between um, 6 and 12 reflective shiny surfaces on them, and they are made from a high grade plastic. These drills may be made from a recycled um, low grade plastic so the so the way that they are made is a little bit different um, and the colors are quite different but that's also dependent on your design okay so our instructions come with 12 languages on them and an informational guide um, so you'll be able to receive that like I said I don't have that with me today but I can show you the AliExpress kit does not really contain any instructions at all. It doesn't even really contain any English words at all. It shows you what you get in the kit. And the DMC codes and quantity, I guess. There you are.
So a lot of people like to do um, inventory on upon receiving one of these kits. I'm not going to do that today just because that takes quite a while. Um, let's see. I have... So for us to um, be able to see if it's DMC codes, we'd have to order a bunch of other kits and compare them to existing diamonds, but we actually don't have any other diamonds other than these ones, so we're not sure if it is DMC. I'll have to double check that, um, but I'm pretty sure that it is. I couldn't be sure. Here are the accessories kits, compared side by side. So right away, this is a Ziploc bag, and this is a resealable bag. This is softer plastic, this is harder plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the AliExpress order. Like this. So this kit comes with a green tray, comes with a pair of tweezers with a curved head. They don't really extend very wide at all. And the, the material of them doesn't feel that that nice actually to be honest. This is the wax that it comes with. It's just a square. It's a little bent and beat up. Comes with a plastic cover on top on each side. Let's see if I can show you up close. Clear plastic on top. And then the pen itself. So this is a bright pink. It has a six head drill bit attachment and then the one on the other side. So it comes with four, four individual accessories. So our kit comes with a white tray. It has the lines on it as well. Our Dreamer Designs logo on it. An extended spout. So this one has a bit of a spout here, you can see, but ours is actually extended past the tray itself. So you can see side by side comparing the sizes. So this tray actually fits right inside the green tray. So the green tray is slightly bigger, just enough to hold this inside, but the edges seem to be lining up pretty perfectly. So I think Maybe because the white tray is slanted on the sides, it just seems like it's a little bit bigger. Whereas this one has straight edge, straight up and down. It's not slanted whatsoever. Let's see if I show you side by side. This one is slanted on the sides here. This one is straight up and down. So that's the tray. It comes with two pens and two foamy hand grips. So these are the pens. The ends are like that. If I if I holding if I'm holding them they feel um the same hardness, about the same. It looks like the ends themselves look the exact same. But this pen, our pen is longer because this is the pen without the head attachment. It's about the size of a regular pen with an attachment. So it's, it's longer. This one is clear with like a sparkle on it and this one is just bright pink. So there's two of those. And then um, foam, two foam grips. So someone's saying um, they would like to see the same size kit compared to one from, say, Ever Moment or Hoi Ken. Yeah, that's definitely a great idea. Um, you can definitely look into doing something like that for another live stream. Um, I know that this comparison isn't exactly ideal because the canvases are such different sizes. So maybe we can find something on Ever Moment that is about the same size as one of our smaller kits. We could definitely do that for you. So these are the pens with the foam grips on them. 
Um, the AliExpress kit does not come with any foam grip attachment. This is a very comfortable, nice and thick feel to it. Um, it's a beautiful purple color. It has ridges in it so that you're able to grip onto it. And the feel of it is quite nice. Also comes with two head attachments. So this is the three head and this is the six head. Let me just add those on. So this is what the pens look like with the head attachments on it. This has um, wax in it because I've been using it, but you can get a good idea of what they look like here. And I will hold up this next to it. So let's see, let's hold on. So I'm putting just the heads down here so that you can see the size difference. So that is the size difference. As you can see, it does extend past with the head attachment. There you can see the ends. They look quite similar. There you go. So our kits also come with a pair of tweezers. These are very sturdy and high quality tweezers. They are very sleek and they are black. They also come with a cap on the top of them. As you can see, there is a cap there. And that's because these tweezers are actually very sharp. So I've taken the cap off. I'm sure you can see how far the tweezers extend. It's about a finger, it's about more than a finger, maybe like a pinky and a finger. If I were to extend them the most, yeah. So I can get two fingers in there and extend them. They are very, very sharp. You can see that, that intense point there. So these are very precise. Um, I find that they're very perfect for straightening out the drills. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so that it focuses there. Awesome. So as you can see. So since we only do square drills, will any canvases have special gems? So I think what you're referring to is those like mermaidy iridescent type gems. We have got quite a few questions about those. Um, I will definitely bring it up with our team at headquarters in our next meeting and ask them about what they think of that. For right now, we are not offering those kinds of drills, but is it because they only come in circle? Because we could just get our manufacturer to produce um, maybe a custom kind of thing like that. If you are very interested in the um, in the shiny special kind of gems. So here are our tweezers and here are the tweezers that you get from AliExpress. So let me just hold them up side by side. So as you can see, they're quite a bit larger if I were to hold them. So they extend quite a bit further. This one has an angled edge and this one is very pointed. I cannot get two fingers in. I can only just get one finger in between. The feeling of them, these are definitely heavier, more sturdy. These ones are quite light and um, when I feel it, it kind of feels like, um, like fingers, like nails on chalkboard. Ooh. When I do it on this one, it's quite smooth and sleek. Also, I find that the black tweezers are a lot easier to find when you have all of your um, canvas and drill bits and everything set on the table. I find these are a lot easier to find and just pick up versus sometimes I have to search for these. We have um, 20 different designs as of right now. We do have um, full intentions to expand our line of Dreamwork Canvas kits and get lots of different artists and designs on our roster. So um, you can also feel free to tag us at any artist page as, um, as we will be contacting new artists in the near future and expanding our line and getting new designs in. So that's something that you can look forward to as well. We do have 20 online right now. 
So um, you can take a look at our designs by going onto our Instagram page. We have a highlight reel entitled Our Designs, and we also have a highlight reel dedicated to our artists. So you can take a look at both of those highlight reels and um, get a closer look at what kind of designs we're offering right now. So those were the um, tweezers. I compared the pens, and I've compared the trays. So now I can compare the wax. So in our kits, are, they come with two wax caddies. Um, they are in resealable clear pots. They come with a lid and they twist right on. So this is what they look like. I've used them so they look a bit um, beat up inside there. It is the same, okay, let me see if I can grab some new ones here. Here are some brand new ones so you can get a better look. So that is the wax. It comes in this cute pot with our logo on top. The wax comes right out. You could just drop it out and then it is just this clear container. So I will show you an up close look at the differences in wax. This is our wax and this is the wax that you get from the Aliexpress kit. You can see the differences in size. So ours is quite a bit thicker actually. It's about twice the thickness of the long rectangular. So it ends up, um, I bet if you flattened it out, you would be able to see that it's, it's probably about the same quantity wise. So ours has a clear film over the top to protect it. There you can see the film I peel back as does the AliExpress one. So right away when I look at the AliExpress one, you can see that the wax is extending past the clear protectant. So it's not, it's still collecting lint and dust, whereas ours come in the package itself plus the two protective layers. So you're able to guarantee that it will come out clean and um, reusable. Will Dreamer Designs offer drill trays for extra diamond storage? So we are definitely considering um, storage options uh, as accessories on our website. So we will be expanding the line. Not only will we be adding extra diamond canvas kits and designs, we will also be looking into providing things like storage solutions, frames, um, maybe selling the accessories kits by themselves, all sorts of different products that we have in mind that we will be looking at expanding once this launch um, goes successfully, then we can start adding more artists and designs and we can start looking into other kinds of products to add to our website as well. So that's something that's definitely really exciting for us and we look forward to doing that. Okay, so we've compared this comes with two wax caddies and the AliExpress just comes with one rectangular um, square with a protective film over top. Another difference in the kits is that ours come with these plastic baggies. This kit did not. So we do have a handful of plastic baggies to help you with your diamond storage. So. Maybe that was your question actually, Alicia. We do give you diamond um, storage solution in the kit itself. So you're able to take out your diamonds and from the original packaging and put them into another baggie. So like I've done here, for instance. So you're able to use these plastic baggies to hold and store your diamonds. But yes, we have been looking at more um, substantial storage solutions to add to the website, but we do give you these plastic baggies. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I will open one of these kits, um, one of the diamond packages from uh, the AliExpress kit, and then I will pour some of our diamonds into our tray and I will show you the tools in action. So I am going to 
Well, Dreamer Designs sell, ex sell extra drills. So if you want to build a stockpile, that's a good question. Um, so right now I'm not sure that we will be selling the drills individually, but like I said previously in the video, all, all of our drill packets come with 20% extra than you need for the design. So I'm sure you're going to be stocking up a on a lot of the different colors already without purchasing extra. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera so that you can see me working on the so you can see me working on the kit um, pieces. Okay. So here I have the two diamond trays. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of these diamonds out. These are the Dreamer Designs diamond. This is like a purpley lilac color. You can see how nice and sparkly those are. Hopefully they will focus. There. You can see these drill bits are very beautiful in color. I'm going to pour some of these out. So the shipping details are actually um, unconfirmed as of this moment. We've been having quite a few difficulties with our shipping warehouse and the details associated with that, but we will be making announcements on our social media channels within the next week or two. So you can check out that announcement um, coming up. So we don't really want to talk much or tell you too much about our shipping details in case they change. So unfortunately, I'm not allowed to kind of elaborate on that as of yet. So let me see if I can find a similar shade. Well, it doesn't look like this um, diamond packaging from the AliExpress has a similar shade. I guess it doesn't have purple in the design. So I'll take kind of like a, maybe I'll take this gray because you could see it easier with the green tray. I've just gone in and I will pour them into the tray. Okay, so as soon as I poured it out, I realized that there are other colors in this package. So there's a black, there's a brown, there's a green. That's not meant to be in this diamond package, but was. This will always come with purple and nothing else. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and then I'm going to shake them for you and show you how quickly these line up versus these. So when I first found, when I first received this and tried it out, I was pretty shocked actually. So maybe I should do it one at a time just to be able to show you accurately. So this is the Dreamer Designs. I'm going to go like that, shake them nice and then I'm gonna pull them back. And already they are very lined up. Okay, so that took about one Mississippi, two Mississippi, maybe three Mississippis. That's generous though. Easy, super lined up, okay? Now I'm going to shake this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, okay. And they're about like that. So you can see a big difference in how much get lined up and the ease to which they are lined up. I would say that that was a pretty fair comparison. Hi Kathleen, you thought the shipping was free, so I'm not sure that I said that. I think I said that it wasn't free, but like I said, I can't really... I can't really tell you um, the shipping details as of right now. Right now I'm just showing you the diamonds in the trays. So Natalie, you're saying that YouTube is lagging a bit for the live stream. Um, so it must have, yeah, so it's just lagging a bit. It's uploading a little bit slowly on YouTube. So that's probably an issue there. Okay. So that's them lined up. I'm then going to go in and try to pick up our drill with the tweezers. 
and it takes about not even one second. I'm holding it up here. So as you can see, it's very sharp, easy to hold. Okay, showing you the diamond up close with the tweezers. And then I will grab the other set of tweezers and show you from the green tray. I'm gonna go in and pick that up. So they're definitely a lot more flimsy. Um, it's a bit harder because the arms themselves aren't, um, like it's, it's, oh wow, it's like a lot holder to, harder on my hand. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's definitely a lot harder on my hand. I'm not sure if it's because it, they're not wide enough. But this, I've almost gotten like a hand cramp holding these silver ones. Versus this one, I haven't gotten a hand cramp whatsoever. Let me try that again. Wow. There. Wow, that's a big difference actually. I've, I haven't done that before, so... Okay, if I'm looking at the diamonds themselves, they look to be, to have the same amount of surfaces on them. They look to be pretty similar, pretty much exactly the same size. The, the drills themselves are very similar. But like I said, in some kits, they will be made with a low-grade recycled material, whereas ours are a higher grade. So uh, it's all dependent on factory, so I can't guarantee that this is a recycled drill and this isn't. Um, well, I know that our Dreamer Designs drills are definitely, re definitely not recycled. They're premium plastic, but... These drills look pretty much the same. So it is really dependent on um, the factory that you get them from. Okay. So that's a, that's a wrap on the um, diamond comparison kit. Sorry, let me just adjust so that I can show you. There we are. So that is a wrap on the comparison to the two kits. Let me know what you like and dislike about each of them in the comments. And um, let me know if um, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments right now. I would love to hear them. I find You find the idea of designing possible crystals in a square shape um, to be amazing. It looks great when there's a mixture of resin and crystal drills in one painting. Okay, definitely. Thank you for your feedback. I will get back to um, the rest of the team and talk to them, even if I, I'm not sure if that's even an option for us. So um, that's definitely something we'll have to look into and do a lot more research about if it's something that our customers are highly recommending and um, wanting from us. So um, let, let me just go back and read if there's any other questions. Please feel free to comment below. Um, yep, shipping is from LA. Thank you, Genia, for your comment. The wax definitely will not dry up as fast in a wax um, caddy than it will through a just a, a, a wax thing. Um, you think tweezer is better to do squares? Yeah, I think it's definitely a lot easier to pick up a diamond drill with the tweezers um, as a square because there are those flat sides. It makes it quite a bit easier and um, effortless to pick up one of these drills versus maybe a circular one, which maybe a little bit harder to pick up as you have to go dead into the center of the drill to pick it up. 
The launch date is still February 13th. Um, we are looking so forward to it and we absolutely cannot wait for you guys to get these kits into your hands. Um, it's going to be such an exciting day for us and we are absolutely thrilled. How long will it take for sold out items to come back into stock? So as of right now, we have quite a huge um, stock pile of designs in our warehousing and shipping facility. The thing about it is that we have ordered this original um, like order quantity and we are going to basically look at in the first couple days of launch, we're going to look at how many designs are sold um, of each kit and then we'll be um, predicting the sales rate of them moving forward and ordering based on that. So we are thinking that we're going to have to put in another order for a large quantity pretty much within the first few days of launch. So we hope to never go out of stock um, and we hope that within within the right parameters. It, it may take us a couple months just to get um, sorted and get used to the process and, and get used to the predictions of the market because we haven't um, had to had a look at that quite yet. Um, question from Mr. Coffee, will there be unisex patterns and canvases? Yeah, so um, right off the top of my head, a lot of the designs that we have from Flash W, like the wolf design, um, the um, the tiger design, that's pretty um, unisex. Also from our other designer, we have a few landscapes, um, the, the trees and the beaches and the mountains, those are pretty unisex as well. We do have quite a few that aren't, don't have like pinks and purples all over it. So uh, I can definitely assure you that you will find something that you like. There's quite a really nice um, like green and brown um, forest scene that I can recommend for you. Um, Awesome. Can we send, can I send you a link to buy the kit? So our website is www.dreamers.com and that will go live on February 13th. So it's, the website is not open right now, but what you can do is go onto our Facebook page and enter our giveaway and you can get a chance to win one of three 100 grand prizes. So $100 grand prize, not 100,000. <laughs> Um, let's see. Any more questions? That's interesting that YouTube monitors for bad things on our live stream. So I guess you can expect that if you're watching from YouTube, it will be lagging a bit. Um, awesome. So I want to thank you so, so much for joining us today. It has been an absolute pleasure. We will be looking forward to answering any of your questions on our Instagram and Facebook profiles because um, we will have a few more graphics uh, that show you the comparison between the two kits. And like I said, I will bring it up in our next meeting that you would like me to do a comparison from something from another company like New Frog um, that's a little bit more similar in size and then that way you can get a little bit more of an accurate representation. The website is www.dreamers.com, dreamerdesigns.com, sorry, and that will be going live on February 13th. So I definitely recommend you do, uh, you go onto our Facebook page and like our Facebook page. You follow us on Instagram. We also have a YouTube channel you can subscribe to and a Pinterest that we would love for you to follow us on. We have quite a bit of content over there, um, especially with some blog posts that we have coming in the works. So we will have a blog for you guys to um, get updated information and read um, fun articles in. Are we planning to have a sale or free shipping in the first several hours on the 13th? So what we will be doing is offering a certain rate for shipping that's better if you buy a certain amount of quantity of kits. So if you buy one kit, shipping is likely to um, be a set rate. If you buy two kits, shipping prices are likely to be better. If you buy three or four kits, shipping will be an even more incredible deal. So those kind of details aren't um, set in stone yet, so I can't really talk much about that, but there will be kind of deals depending on how many you order in terms of shipping. 
Also, if you would like to get discounted um, uh, diamond canvas kits, you can enter our giveaway launch. So that is three winners with um, that get a hundred dollar value to buy kits with uh, on our website. So that's kind of um, one of the promotions that we're doing for launch. I will show you the wax again. This is the wax that comes in this clear plastic wax caddy. It has um, a resealable lid. There you are. So that prevents the wax from drying out. The wax itself is a circular piece. It's quite thick and it has a protectant layer on both of the sides, which you can see here. So the wax itself is pretty similar. I'm pretty sure it's the same, same wax. It looks about the same. Ours is just a little bit thicker and it comes in the wax caddy pot. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you for reminding me to talk about our emails. I've been wondering if you guys have been receiving those emails that we've been sending. Um, our support leader, Ava, has been um, creating those emails for you and sending them out. So that is if you have signed up for our ebook. So ebook.dreamerdesigns.com or you can sign up for our giveaway and enter your email in there. Are all stones in perfect shape? I'll give you a look yourself. Um, I do not see any faults. Let me just dig through it a little bit more. Okay, so here is one of our drills. I do see a little hole in it. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. There is um, a little hole in it, let me see. So there are um, quite, let me see if I can show you up close. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna focus. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. There is a bit of a hole in this one. So this is one of our drills. And the reason why I'm showing you this and why this doesn't um, scare me because the fact that there are millions of drills being made, there are bound to be one or two that are faulty. With that being said, I have this whole package here and I only see one of them with holes in it. And then the other reason that I'm not too worried about it is because we do give you 20% more drills than you need. So that's a really great gap in um, our resources because if you do find one that has a hole or it has some sort of fault in it, it's not a big deal because you have 20% more that you can then go into your stock and pull from. So we're not too worried about that. Let me go ahead and look at the drills from the AliExpress. So like I said, the one thing I, I'm noticing about the AliExpress package is that there are other color drills within the package itself. And yeah, I don't, oh, here we go. So this is a misshapen drill right here. So here we have like a layer of plastic on the flat inside. Here. Do you see that like horn sticking out? So that's an imperfect drill bit from the AliExpress kit. So that's actually not like an air bubble, it's like a complete you wouldn't even be able to put this down on the canvas because it is so misshapen. So that is from the AliExpress kit. 
there you can see it a little bit clearer. And of course, as you know, sometimes with the AliExpress and Amazon kits, you do not en even end up with enough drills to cover your design. So this worries me a lot more considering they don't give you extras in drills. So yeah. So in terms of custom designs, we are not offering those as of the moment. It is not part of our business model. Our business model is all about getting you these kits quickly and um, ensuring that you don't have to wait long to receive your kit. So if we were to start doing customs, that would take weeks and we just don't wanna make our customers wait that long. So that's not part of our business model. I don't think that we'll be doing customs at this moment. Um, maybe in the future, some things may change, but I'm not quite sure that we will be doing customs. Okay, you guys, so that's all for this live stream. I wanted to thank you so much for joining me. I do live streams every Sunday and Thursday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can catch me every week, twice a week. Please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> Please join us on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you again soon. Bye.